What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Wii U update. And yes, this will be quite the update, guys, because there's a lot of rumors going on and just some debauchery, basically, too. So let's get on with it. <sighs> Boy, here we go again with people speculating and stuff. Negative things about the Wii U. Um, Game Industry International says that Wii U is less powerful than Xbox 360 and PS3 and one controller per console. Now we already know about the one controller per console. We heard about that, though it still is up in the air if Nintendo will actually support two, um, two actual uh, control pads uh, per console. So it could we could have multiple controllers could not um we'll see um, that's still a rumor it has yet to be confirmed now um game games in industry international have recently been giving some interesting information from of course an anonymous developer concerning nintendo's next gen console uh, the wii u these developers told Game Industry that the Wii U lacks the graphic, the graphics power that the 360 and the PS3 supplies, saying, Sure, some things are better, mostly as a result of it being more mod a more modern design, but overall, the Wii U just can't quite keep up. Um, so, again contradicting what other developers have said which they said it's twice as powerful or even more powerful we won't know this is again this is a rumor we won't know until the wii u launches and nintendo reveals their specs um i just want an hd console from nintendo that's all i want how much better can graphics get uh, you know, we got the Unreal Engine 3 going to be running on the, the Wii U. And rumor has it that Nintendo will be tweaking the Wii U to run Unreal Engine 4. So how much better can graphics really get? Um, are we going to, in a minute, just be having actors be the the, the characters in the games and we're just going to be controlling them? Or, you know, how realistic do you want a game to look? How good of graphics do you want? the game to look there's basically nothing else they can do unless you want it to look like avatar which that's not happening that would take way too much power to do so and way too much money for any developer to accomplish so i don't get what people want and people have been complaining oh my god and of course the you know other fans of sony and microsoft have been bashing on nintendo uh fans and you know it's just really annoying but it's all up in the air we'll see when the wii u is launched and nintendo gives out its specs now again nintendo this is from nintendo um says don't focus on technology specs that's their words they said right here and it's quoted we do not focus on technology specs we understand that people like to uh, dissect graphics and processing power but the experience of playing will always be more important than raw numbers and that is completely true that is Nintendo themselves quoting uh, that is what they said themselves what? okay graphics are good okay but would you rather a developer spend all their time on the environment than the actual physics or or the general gameplay of the game would you want it to the game to play good or would you just want it to have a pretty sight um you decide it you know obviously the answer is that you want the game to play well but again now nintendo fans are skeptical like they're saying oh no i hope this isn't the wii again um uh, maybe the rumors are true that the ps uh, the um the graphics aren't as good as ps3 no no that doesn't mean that that does, that just means that nintendo was saying why don't you guys just be quiet and focus on what what you know games are going to come out why do you need to know so badly what 
power it has you know it's nice to know what power it has but that's not the main focus the main focus is the great games that are going to be on the wii u um you know when it starts launching so just you know wait i mean wait until e3 i mean i know i'm reporting these rumors but i'm reporting them because it's good news uh it gets people talking but i advise people to not always trust rumors and everything even the, you know you don't have to trust the rumor of it being two uh two times more powerful than ps3 that may not be true who knows it it may be more powerful it may be just as powerful who knows does it really matter no uh can graphics get really any better not really i mean I guess when Unreal Engine 4 comes out, what more do people want? Like I say, did you, do you want uh, in-game characters to look like real people? In that case, watch a movie and have a controller in your hand and fiddle around with it there. Now you got the feeling of playing a a movie game, I guess. But I, don't, I just don't get what people want in power. Power means nothing. What the, uh, what, what happens with a console basically the software is what keeps the console running the it's basically like the blood of the console if there's no good titles then it's going to die um just like if you have no blood in your body you're going to die it's it's imminent so it doesn't really matter what it can do it matters what how great games uh, what great games are going to be on it. So that's really the main focus, and that is exactly what Nintendo is talking about. Ubisoft wants to be number one Wii U third party, and yes, Ubisoft really, really loves Nintendo. It's like they've been just waiting for uh, them to have an HD console. They say, we have big plans for Wii U. Our intention is to be the number one third party on Wii U, just like we were uh, on Kinect and just like we were on 3DS. It says, we've always had a really close relationship with Nintendo, so I'd venture to say that we did have an advantage in getting dev kits earlier than other people. I'm not saying we got them earlier than everyone, but I don't think we got them earlier. Did I just read that wrong? Okay, let me read that again. So I'd venture to say that we did have an advantage in getting dev kits earlier than others, than other people. I'm not saying we got them earlier than everyone, but I do think we got them earlier. Okay, I, I did read that wrong. And uh, they also say that they came to us and asked us to make a, to make real still, uh, uh, not real still, <laughs> red still. The thing is, once these dev kits show up in the building, you've got these uh, other teams peeking around the curtain going, hey, what's that? Before you know it, there's three projects being developed for the Wii in that one room. And then other the um then another guy from other studios just happened to be visiting and brings back some ideas so they want to be number one wii u third party and you know with assassin's creed 3 coming out for the wii u maybe possibly being a, a launch title as a matter of fact is no um possibly being a launch title that's all that's all good. It seems like it may be the definitive version of all the consoles, too, since Ubisoft is so in love with Nintendo. So that's good news to hear from Ubisoft, guys. Um, also, um, okay, what other news is there for you guys to... Um, okay, um... Aliens, uh, Colonial Marines media blowout reveals new Wii U information, more RAM, the controller, and next-gen lighting. It says, uh, let me get the source right here. Um, I will also have all my sources in the, the, um, in the description. It will be in links for you guys to hear straight from the horse's mouth. 
And yes, that one you have to read because it, uh, if I quote everything, if I tell you guys everything, um, this video will end up probably 20, 20, uh, 25 minutes long. So you guys are going to have to read that. But basically, it's the developers saying that it has more RAM um, and next gen lighting. So it's going to be the definitive version of uh, Aliens uh, Colonial Marines. So, um, there we go. A new rumor has came about about the uh, release date for the Wii U, which um, an anonymous source, of course an anonymous source, has said that the Wii U will be launching uh, in North America on November 18th. And this comes in line with the Wii, which was released, I believe, November uh, November 19th of 2006 so a lot of their consoles are in that that uh that range of November uh, all their consoles um, also <clears throat> also um, that is a Sunday just like Nintendo always wants to uh, to um, always release their stuff on Sunday. I don't know why they just do. Um, I actually don't like that because Sunday is a day where most people just don't want to go anywhere. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that the Wii U, like I said in my other videos, I said probably near, uh, between September and December. And I also said most likely sometime in November because, that's mostly where, when uh, Nintendo releases their consoles um, in general. So I think I think I'll actually believe this rumor. Of course, it's a rumor. I'm still on edge, but it is very very accurate in terms of of um, its uh, previous uh, installments of Nintendo consoles release dates. So I will uh, actually believe this. So. Till then, yeah. So, um, that's it for this update, guys. Tell me what you guys think about all this news and rumor going about. Um, sorry if I sound a little, uh, stuffy. Um, I have a little bit of a throat cold, I guess that's what I'll call it. Because nothing else is like, uh, I just have, my throat just hurts, basically. And sorry about, you know, stuttering and all that stuff because my throat is really killing me so that's it for this update guys i'll be doing more updates on the wii u as we get closer to its release date and as more things are revealed don't forget to like subscribe and comment and also don't forget to join my official facebook fan page i will have a link in the description for you guys to join if you haven't already and look out for videos posted there and other posts in general thank you guys for watching